A Detroit family is grieving after a young man lost his life over the weekend. They say when Lewis Stafford opened his home to an employee without a place to stay, he had no idea the kind gesture would lead to his apparent murder. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels joins us from Chesterfield Township where Stafford first encountered the worker, now accused of killing him. Louis Stafford's family tells me that he was a manager at this Taco Bell in Chesterfield Township. According to his family, it was here that he met the man who allegedly murdered him, a man that he was just trying to help. You would look at him and say one day he's going to make someone a really great husband. He's going to make someone a good father. Zani Juan is Louis Stafford's cousin. She's helped care for him since he was a baby in Detroit and tells me that since the day Stafford was born, he was extremely empathetic. He cared about people. He cared about animals. It was that care that Juan tells me led Stafford to help out 24-year-old Dejan Drake of East Point. Juan says 27-year-old Stafford was a manager at this Chesterfield Township Taco Bell, and Drake was one of his employees. Guy told him that he was basically living in a tent behind the Taco Bell, behind their job. And he said, hey, you know, you don't have to be out there. You know, you can, you can come stay with me. Unfortunately, Juan says Drake's behavior became aggressive after coming to stay with Stafford at Aspen Creek Apartments. The people at his job became afraid of him. Mm -hmm. He started getting really combative. And they were like, we're going to fire him. And Louis just kept stepping in, kept trying to advocate for him. But according to Juan, Drake's behavior did not improve. On Saturday, July 29th, Stafford asked Drake to leave his apartment, an ask that resulted in a fight and Drake allegedly shooting and killing Stafford. Like you were thick as thieves. That was really my friend. And I'm so sorry that this happened to him. Drake has been arrested and is in Macomb County Jail. This GoFundMe has been created in Stafford's name. Family asks that after hearing his story, we think harder about those close to us who are struggling with their mental health. We move on to the next one and the next one and the next one until we're desensitized when we have to take our mental health seriously. Family tells me that Stafford's GoFundMe will cover his funeral costs and it's going to help out his girlfriend who had just moved in with him. Apparently, both of them were living off of Stafford's salary and now she has nothing. Reporting in Chesterfield Township, I'm Sarah Michaels for 7 Action News.